Hey everyone, we're back with more Legacy. Today I'm going to be playing some Red White Initiative. This mechanic is pretty broken. We hope to power out Caves of Chaos Adventurer and Seasoned Engineer early and often. Um, with the help of eight soul lands, we have Cavern of Souls to bypass Force of Will. We have Spirit Guides, we have Chrome Mox, we have Lotus Petal. Um, aside from that, we have four Archons. Archon of Emeria is like pretty strong against any deck on turn one. It represents multiple time walks, attacks in the air, gets back the initiative, this and that. Like this card is pretty awesome. And KO some combo decks as well. Fable of the Mirror Breaker as like the solid card of the deck. We have Solitude, being of Sully. Solitude will help you kill creatures and maintain the initiative. Um, if you have the initiative, pitching for Solitude is just fine. Then we have Chalice of the Void, which is basically meant to be played on one. And that's like the main reason to play an Ancient Tomb deck, in my opinion. Make sure the opponent's brainstorms, ponders, reanimates, stifles, you name it, are dead. That this card is insane. Winning the die roll and playing turn one Chalice will put you ahead against a lot of the field. And then we have Fourth Yolingus for, you know, good flexibility. Pitches to sol uh, Solitude is good, like early to overwhelm the opponent. Can even be good late when you have a lot of mana. Um, this deck is, I would say, it probably mulligans a lot and can lose to Force of Will a lot, but I'm willing to take that challenge. The sideboard, we are addressing creatures with plows, we're addressing sneaky creatures and graveyard with Containment Priest, graveyard and breakfast with Fairy Macabre. We have a little bit of Disenchant uh, going on here with Lauren, good against Ursa Saga also. Same with Magus the Moon and also Merit Lay Strategies. We have Null right here against like Combo, Pinder, stuff like that. Um, then a, and then a couple of Furies against Weenies. So yeah, this is a cool deck. I can't wait to play it. Let's get to some matches. All right, round one is here. What can we do with this hand? We're on the play, which is awesome. We have a Chalice. So we basically have to pick between, I guess, getting rid of a Spirit Guide turn one. Yeah, I think that's better. So let's keep. I think I'm going to go Plateau, turn one, is that correct? Let's see, if I go Plateau and I get Wasteland and I'm fine, I still have the... Cavern of Souls and Soul Land, that's totally fine. There is an argument I was supposed to go turn one Cavern on Human, because then I go uh, Soul Land Peacekeeper on Counterable turn two. Okay. Looks like we're getting forced here. Opponent pitches Brainstorm. Makes a lot of sense. Chalice resolves. Brainstorm is dead forever. Let's see what we're up against. Getting forced there is... We'll start. Okay, we're up against Delver. That's a cool matchup. Mm, I draw City of Traitors. I think I'm supposed to go Peacekeeper. Oh, okay, this is funny. So, the Bowmasters, I could name, but I think I'm supposed to name Lightning Bolt here. Let's name Lightning Bolt. The opponent has triple Bowmaster in hand. That's kind of funny. Let's see if the opponent can flip the Delver. They did flip the Delver. Let's see what they do. Brainstorm, Bowmaster, X3, and Lightning Bolt. <coughs> Excuse me? The opponent's pretty easily racing me if they get to the second land. I guess they didn't. Huh. I wonder if the opponent attacks or they want to trade. Looks like they want to trade. I draw Solitude, which is a horrible draw, everything considered. Let's attack. I don't know if I'm ready to like kill off my own mana base. So the opponent must be blocking here. That's why they stayed back. Looking to buy time. Hmm. Brainstorm gone. Bolt is still in hand. Bolt is now unlocked. Am I realistically going to build up for Hardcast Solitude? I guess I am. Let's see. If traitors die, I'm at 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, let's do that. Kill off our own mana base. Really bad. Bad feeling. 
but I think because I actually have five mana available, that it's it's viable. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a good one. I wonder how I play Magic. Do I want to beat Days? Probably want to beat Days. The opponent has Bolt, Trip, Bowmasters, two unknowns. Probably want to beat Days. Let's play Fable. The token will get bolted, though. That is worth thinking about. Force of Will. Okay. I mean, we definitely take that. That's a good exchange. So now I basically just need to find like an initiative creature. But I guess it's still kind of iffy because the opponent can find Black Source and all of a sudden the just the raise the alarm mode on Arcus Bowmasters will be enough. Pitching Murktide Regent. Now, obviously, I feel a little sad I didn't just play Cavern, but the thing is, I don't even know what to name with Cavern. It's not obvious at this stage. But with the Force Will out of the picture, maybe it's not going to be relevant. Okay, the opponent passes a turn. I feel like I need to draw... Okay, that's a great draw. So, Fable, the Goblin Shaman gets bolted. Then I get a little bit of selection going on. Well, not really selection, but some... I can kind of invest the two bad cards I have in hand for two fresh ones. I think that's worth it. Because the initiative creatures are so good at this stage. Even, like, fourth Yalingas would be awesome. Just anything to try and do my best to slam the door before the opponent gets into the game. Could this be a stifle? This pause? I'm not sure. Shaman will get killed by bolts with 100% certainty. And the opponent finds the land. They didn't find the land. They found a wasteland. Let's see what they do with it. Okay, they get rid of City of Traders. I'm not, like, insanely unhappy with that. That's fine. It might make it so that I want to keep the cavern, though. Season Dungeon near. Yeah, I'm going to... Get rid of the Solitude and keep the dungeon near. So let's go Human, Ass. And then next turn I can play on Counterable Dungeoneer. Problem is the opponent now has one more turn to find Black Mana, which they did. Um, but maybe that's fine because I get a 2-2 from the Fable as well. Another one. Huh, cool. So let's go uh, Elemental on this one. I might draw Solitude later and want to hard cast it. Preparing to get stifled here, but that's okay. Okay, I don't get stifled. Go fetch a Plains, pass. The opponent can flash in... Bowmasters, that means two creatures, but that is not enough to take over the initiative. My worst nightmare is the opponent having Lightning Bolt already in hand, drawing another mana source, going Lightning Bolt plus Bowmaster, the Dungeoneer. That is the nightmare. Ooh, Molten Collapse, that is a good one. Not gonna lie, that's a good one. So, let's see what the opponent does here, because they either have to suicide a creature, or not take the initiative. Both can be quite bad. Okay, they do suicide the, the Bowmasters. They take the initiative, they can search a basic, I'm not sure they run one in Grixis. Touch the Spirit Realm, okay, that's a good one. So, I can play... Planes, attack, turn that one into a 4-4, four, four. or oh, maybe I'm supposed to scry, and then I'm supposed to touch the spirit realm, my reflection, it comes back 
It's a fable. I get a 2 2, all of that jazz. Okay, let's lost well. Two bricks. Don't want those. Okay, let's try. S. I now have a 2 2 fable going. The opponent has two more bowmasters, though, which is. Which, which can definitely pose a problem. Lightning Bolt's a great draw. The opponent gets the initiative. Yeah, this can be a problem. I kind of need to. Yeah, I can't even. Yeah, I need to draw a very good card from the top of my deck. Solitude, Fourth Theolingus, Initiative Creature. Another Fable, I guess, would be fine. Opponent puts two cards on the bottom. Two Bowmasters and an Unknown in hand. I draw four Theolingas. That is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm going to hang on to everything here. I think what I'm supposed to do is play around days. Hmm. I wonder what I'm supposed to name here. I have Human and, ele and, ele and Elemental. I can see going Elemental with one more. I think I'm going to play our own days here, but you could definitely convince me that's wrong. Let's see. Fourth for three. Attack for six. Take back. Um, what am I looking to do here? I think it's fine. Hmm. If I go to Arena, I can go to Archive. I think the four one is not going to be that great, to be honest. Hmm. Maybe I try and switch sides now. That guy has to attack. I draw an extra card. Most importantly, I clock my opponent. 3 2 twos at this stage can be very, very tough to deal with. If my opponent doesn't have a Merc Ted regent, I feel like I'm firmly in the driver's seat. Or Garmi attacks. The opponent can. Get a free mana plus the monarch, I guess. Oh yeah, that was bad. I shouldn't have attacked with. Hmm. Can't believe I didn't think about that. Maybe I should have stayed back with one human knight, and it forced the opponent to have one more removal. Yeah, and then I eat it because I forced it to attack. So yeah, ah, terrible play. Let's see if we get punished. Looks like I am getting punished, yeah. Looks like I am, in fact, getting punished here. Okay, that is not a bad draw. Transforming my Fable here. I feel like I'm attacking. One has two Bowmasters in hand and two Unknowns. They have one treasure for mana. I kind of want to go anointed peacekeeper first to kind of see what's up so I don't get, you know, caught by whatever lightning bolt, you name it. Hmm, I could lose this game. I think, yeah, if I stay back there, I'm in a great spot. That was not smart. I gave my opponent a free card. Hmm, tough to say. Let's see if we can flip this fable and kind of threaten something cool for next turn. There's even a case that a Peacekeeper first, if my opponent does not have a land, I can name Orcish Bowmasters with Peacekeeper, and then it's tough for my opponent to shoot down the Skeleton. And I have, like, both options on the Undercity. But yeah, I have, I have some options here, despite not piloting this game perfectly. Let's play Uncounterable Human. Maybe that wasn't even necessary. Oh, there's a Daze. Okay. And the fourth land. Okay. 
So I'm going to go and name Orkish Bowmasters, make it a four drop. So the bad thing now is I, um, if I draw into a four drop human, I'm going to get dazed. The reason to play Anointed peace Peacekeeper on Counterable was to hedge against my opponent's hand being exactly Force plus Blue card. And, uh, yeah, it, it looks super silly now, obviously. I think you can realistically just go, if you have Force Blue card, fair enough. Because of the one random draw I'm getting here, it's so good if it's a 4-drop initiative creature. But if that backfires, we don't look very smart either. So tough call no matter what. Let's put our opponent to four. Hmm. Draw or skeleton? Draw or skeleton? Forcing my opponent to go tap out for Bowmasters. Ooh, this sounds okay. Hmm. Drawing one card now and one card on end step sounds okay also. Hmm. Okay, let's draw a card, see what happens. Draw Cavern. Fortunately, the card sucks. Um, so maybe I go... Because I draw the... Yeah, this is actually funny. I have three Caverns on Elemental now. Because if I draw exactly um, Solitude here on the end step, I can, I can play it around days. Let's draw the Solitude. Okay, no solitude. Okay, okay, okay. So if the opponent goes attack with Burke Tide, I'm at eight. Can they survive? Ooh, Lightning Bolt was the best draw on the deck. Ah, that sucks. That is very brutal. So now the opponent can um, take over the Monarch, draw an extra card, get a Skeleton, and I don't think I can break through now because the opponent, was, the opponent will have three block. Maybe that's not true. The opponent will have four blockers, so... If I make a copy of the Knight token, maybe I can do it because of Trample. Hmm, yeah, this is funny. Very tight game. I'm losing to the Merc Tide unless I find something. Could lose to the other cards as well. Let's see what our draw step is giving me here. Turn 11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this... I, I feel like... I, yeah, I, 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 I could have played better this game. So it's like a, a combination of me not playing the tightest and then getting a little unlucky. Yeah. It's a, it's a tough... It's a tough combination. Come on, opponent. Let me have a draw step. Or Theolingus, Initiative Creature, yeah, not Caracas. Mm, so let's see. What happens if I just attack with these two? Then the opponent can go Bowmaster, King 1, grow this. Yeah, that doesn't work. I think I have to do it like this and get lucky. 
Let's get lucky. The opponent cannot double bowmaster that token. Ooh, 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 the stifle. That will do it, I believe, because now the opponent can present enough toughness to not lose to these guys. Or to not, you know, lose the initiative to these guys. Nice stifle. That was brutal. And because the opponent find, found the bolt the turn before. Um, the Peacekeeper is not in play. That makes the Bowmaster a two drop. And because of the treasure I gave my opponent earlier, it is castable here. So yeah, now we, the opponent can just block. And look like a champ. Did my opponent mess up? I think my opponent messed up here. Okay, so I get the initiative. Yeah, the Yeah, that's not smart. Now I get to go to the last chapter and I do find the sol solitude that kills the um the murktide. Oh. Huh. Okay, yeah, the, the opponent was not supposed to let let the damage come through there. Let's see what I draw. The opponent can ping here end of turn. What do I draw? I draw Caves of Chaos Adventurer. The opponent can ping me and make a 1-1. One, one. So funnily enough, they also get to the Throne of the Dead Tree here. But the thing is, the Solitude has lifelink as well, so... And I don't think the opponent can find any creature that's, like, crazy good. It's like 1-drops, 3-3 three, three mercs, stuff like that. Yeah, I think the opponent's in trouble here. So if they just block with the Bowmaster, if they don't take Tramble damage, they just win with the Merktide attack. Yeah, sometimes it's the it's the small things. Actually, what I could have done on my turn, the, yeah, this game is just awesome because I'm missing so many things. Um, I could have bounced my reflection and played a fable to have one more blocker. But instead, we play on. Let's see what the opponent's hitting on Undercity. It looks like a small... Oh yeah, six six. Okay, right. The plus three, plus three. That's uh, that's important as well. There's a lightning bolt, and uh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, it's not legendary. My my bad. I thought it was yeah, you know, Kiki Jiki and stuff like that. Okay, but actually, it wasn't a, a possible play. Gotcha. The opponent's gonna draw an extra card. Sure. The opponent has the initiative and the monarch. Very very tough. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to send my lifelinger here. And then I have uncounterable Caves of Chaos Adventure afterwards. I believe my opponent still has one Bowmaster left. Is that true? I think so, at least. Let's try and get in there with 6-5 Solitude, which... Incidentally matches up pretty great against the Merktide, so it's going to be a trade if the opponent doesn't want to, you know, the, the 12 life point swing. Good block. Human. Play Adventurer, see what happens. I take back the initiative. I think this is just the first one where I get a basic land, which isn't anything to write home about. Drain my deck of a basic. My opponent is still the monarch. He 
Yeah, this game is uh, this game is something else. We, I think my opponent made like one big mistake, and I made a few small mistakes. So, but that's I can I guess those are the reasons we have a great game here. If if I play perfectly, I win this game. If my opponent plays perfectly, they win the game. So uh, good for you guys. We have more magic here because neither my opponent or me was uh, playing at a at a top level here. But that's cool. More magic. Let's see, can the opponent find one more clutch lightning bolt? Oh, no, they can't. Well, what happens to the cards? Uh, they're shuffled in. Okay, they, they can find more bolts. Maybe. I don't know. Are these exiled or are these re like revealed and shuffled? No clue. Yeah, let's see what the opponent can do here. Very grindy game. We're on turn 12. That's really not... Like, you either crush your opponent fast, or you get crushed relatively fast in most games with initiative. Paracas doesn't do a whole lot. It can enable the opponent to go, let's like, say, Orcish Bowmasters plus... Um, Merktide on the same turn, but that wasn't the case. Okay. The opponent passes the turn, draws a card. Hmm. Do you have Lightning Bolt in your hand? I don't think you have Lightning Bolt in your hand. I'll try and grow the caves. The opponent did not have Lightning Bolt in their hand. We draw Seasoned Dungeoneer. That is an insane card. Huh. Let's start with an attack here. Attacking, and I can now play Chalice until end of turn. The opponent did wasteland my cavern on a human. So now they need a Force of Will or a Stifle. Do not lose to the Adventurer. Let's go Chalice for Uno. Okay. For some reason, that didn't work. Huh. That usually works. Let's play Seasoned Engineer and ask for the Force of Will. Orcish Bowmasters, sure. And then I went with the Trap. Okay, that was strange. Like, usually the Chalice is like it's asking you to put X mana into it. Strange stuff. Okay, so we play against Delver. <laughs> Excuse me. Do we manage to win game one after a marathon? I mean, I do. I love the plows. I think that's going to be it. Mm, you can argue that a card like Archon is always fine. You can argue a card like Fable is always fine. You can argue Caves of uh, Chaos Adventurer can can backfire because it dies to Lightning Bolt. Hmm. Okay, I'll try and cut some, some creatures for some removal and see what, what happens. It's also, I don't know if the opponent will have Orcish Bowmasters in the deck after the sideboard. Really not sure about that. Fury getting stifled is really not my favorite part of the card either. Huh. I'm ready to try this. The opponent now has to beat me twice in order to take down the match. Okay, this end, this end is cool. We have a bunch of stuff to do. This hand is not very good against Force of Will. There is a chance I'm supposed to hedge against that card. Spirit Guide. This hand is very good against Daze, though. Fourth Yerlingas, turn one. Not sure. Um, hmm. Okay, I have to think about this. What if I go turn one, Season Dungeoneer, out of Ancient Tomb, 
imprinted touch and pedal. I think I like that. I get forced. It is what it is. The dream is the opponent dazes and I pay with spirit guide. The opponent does not daze. Okay. So basically, I'm my plan is here that I drained my opponent's hand of force. The next turn I can go for Theolingus for four and kind of win that way. I think with the way they played there, they don't have days. So I'm willing to play around. Ah, uh, yeah, that's so tempting. I feel like I should go initiative creature here. So tempting. What a draw. I'll be fetching a mountain here, I believe. Okay, so time will tell. Like, I can get overwhelmed here by Bowmasters. I don't know. They, I, I think after game one, in the opponent's point of view, Bowmasters is like a great card in this matchup. Oh, okay. The opponent's kind of on desperation mode here. Holding me milling a daze. The opponent only has two card types in the yard. That's very good for me. And they can't attack there. Oh. Let's forge the Dungeoneer. Draw. Float. And then I'll play a big ear Lingus. I'm okay playing around days with my spirit guide. The opponent might have Hydroblast. I don't know. Okay, the opponent has Hydroblast. Okay, fair enough. The opponent mills over a creature. I believe that's still only three types. Touch the Spirit Realm. I'm not going to mill that over. That card is actually strong. The opponent takes six. Next turn, they're going to take six more, and if I hit a spell, they die to the trap. So the opponent kind of needs removal for this Dungeoneer. This looks like Merktide Regent. This looks like Big Murky taking the initiative with Dragon Rage. When I can search a basic, but I don't think they have a basic, not even in the sideboard. Um, fails to find, yes. So let's attack, and I believe if I hit a spell here, I win. Ortheolingus in the graveyard, uh, yes. The opponent takes seven. And then what I can do... Yeah, I just went with Trap here. So, yeah, pretty good math. Oof. Yeah, th I had, that was a bestial draw. I had turn one Dungeoneer, turn two Dungeoneer, turn three for Theolingus. Like, that's just unreasonable. Cards like Force of Will are good there if I get Wastelanded. I, maybe this draw was even resilient, somewhat resilient to Wasteland, but that's like what you're not <laughs> hoping is going to happen whenever you have a draw like this. But yeah, sometimes you get the job done. Game one was. Oof, what a slugfest. Game two was more like, you know, what we signed up to do. All right, let's see if we can get some more wins on the board. Thanks for watching so far. Okay, we're here for some more initiative magic. This hand looks sick. I wonder how you play. You, if I go... Let's see, what kind of persistent mana can I build here? Let's say I imprint the Fable. The thing is, if I imprint Fable, it's a permanent red source. And I might need consecutive white white. Hmm. Can I do anything smart here if I want to, like, go one two punch seasoned engineer for the Alingas? Hmm. Maybe I just. 
imprint the spirit guide, track pedal, tap tomb, play seasoned. If it resolves, I'm very happy I get a planes, I can do brutal stuff. If it doesn't resolve, I go turn to Fable, which can help me get to Fortiolingus. I think that's the way to play. Chrome Mox imprint Simeon Spirit Guide. Pedal with the intention to crack it for white. Season Dungeoneer. Must force, I guess. It will get forced. Pitch Merktide Regent. No play. Yeah, now, now cards like Dace and Bolt are insane against me, but that's how it is. That's how it is with this deck. Like, it can look absolutely insane, but maybe it isn't. We get Dazed. And now, this is like the spot where Wasteland is at its best. The opponent saw I missed the land drop. Okay, the opponent plays out the scry land or surveil once more. Kinda need to draw land. I don't. Hmm. I have like I have a shot here. I'm not I'm not completely dead. The solitude could be good if I go like oh, okay. Yeah, that probably does it. The opponent found the wasteland within like the time frame. Of course there's a spirit guide to kind of mock me. Yeah, so funnily enough. If I knew my if I know the matchup, I can just go turn one fable and kind of take it slow. Merktide Regent is a good one, but yeah, that's how it is. Soul Land? Pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal. If if I drew a soul land, I could also go like, yeah, chaos. But oof, this is this this looks tough. This looks tough because lightning bolt is insane. Any creature is insane, like for initiative control. And any counter spell is game over. <laughs> this is one of the most all in uh, chaos adventures you'll ever see. So now I can basically only win if my opponent's hand is like. A lot of lightning bolts and lands. I'm ready with the concession here. Okay. So I'm playing against Teamer Teamer Delver. What did I do last time? I like the plows. I shaved a couple of boltable initiative creatures. And I believe I took out Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Eh, maybe that's not perfect. Let's see. Ooh, that was that was a beating. The opponent had exactly what they needed to make my nuts hand uh, look silly. It's definitely a high high risk, high reward type of deck because it wins the game on the spot if the opponent doesn't have a force will on that turn. Yeah, definitely a mulligan. No no mana sources to speak of. Okay, this hand is cool. Hmm. I feel like I'm imprinting, I'm putting away Peacekeeper, is that right? Okay, let's put away a Peacekeeper, imprint for the Alingus. Maybe I didn't even have to uh, Chrome turn one. Not sure. Chalice for one. Hopefully that, like, this is the situation. If it resolves, awesome. If it gets forced, acceptable, right? Gets forced, pitching Delver. So the dream is now the opponent goes turn one cantrip. I draw some kind of mana source and I go Yelingus. If the opponent goes creature, things can get a little complicated. 
especially if the the opponent gets to okay they don't get to three uh they don't get to four card types i feel like i need to draw a mana source here to be in this game i don't draw mana source okay let's cast a touch Get rid of the channeler. And then we're kind of back into the hole. If I get wastelanded, I'm in terrible position. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oof. Brutal times. Brutal times. Not much to do here, I believe. The dream that yeah, that's just the that's the dream for the opponent. If you have like these. The thing is, it's kind of like normal tools, like Force of Will, Days, Wasteland. And if they work, you're, you're so far ahead that, yeah, it just seems like trivial to win the game. Um, and if I get to sneak any of the Haymakers in and through, I'm winning, like, pretty easily. It's uh, brutal. Let's see, no flip. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, actually. Not entirely sure. Maybe the opponent has Merc tied. No, don't they don't. Okay. Maybe actually I shouldn't give my opponent the... Okay, let's see. They probably go for some... Okay, they don't go for Surveil. What is this? Petty Theft. Yeah, this is not going to work. Okay, fair enough. We got smoked by Delver. We narrowly beat Delver and got smoked by Delver in the in the following one. Let's see what we can do in the last one. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're here for round three. Classic Zero Lander on the draw. What could possibly go wrong? Let's see. I think I remember this opponent playing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just had that thought. I remember playing that uh, that opponent playing. Oops, all spells. Not really sure. What am I supposed to do with that chalice? Chalice for one Stup's Dark Ritual. I might have to do a little bit of research here. Let's see. Oops, all spells. It has Dark Ritual and Thought Seas. I don't really care about Thought Seas. What about Zeros? Yeah, so funnily enough, that since the deck has um, well, uh, eight spirit guides, rather, Chalice is not that great against it. Hmm. What can I do? I can play turn one initiative creature with Chalice for zero. Maybe I do that. Chalice of the Word for zero. Pitch Spirit Guide. Play Dungeoneer. Play Out of Planes. And try and commence the beatdown. So why would the opponent keep that hand? It's probably because they have, like, Mana Source Ritual win the game. So... Right now, I'm hoping that it's tough for the opponent to get to black mana because of, like, shutting down Chrome Mox, shutting down Petal. But yeah, let's see. I'm going to try and race my opponent here. Terrible draw. Oh, very bad land drop. If I hit, like, some better land here, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, get in for five. Next turn, I dome my opponent for five and attack once more, so... I need to dodge not only this turn, but also the following turn. It's, it's not perfect. It's really not perfect. There's the black source. Yeah, now I think it's over. Now the opponent just needs a spirit guide. They didn't have the spirit guide. That's interesting. 
so I'll just trap. I need some kind of draw that I can't think of here. Hit of traitors is not it. I'm going to put my opponent to one here, which is kind of funny. And then I'm going to lose. Okay. Yeah, the, the opponent kept the hand with most likely... Mm, I want to say they played pack, but yes. Uh, yeah, pack and negation. So keeping a hand that can play turn three with pack the negation back up, that's a, a, that's a fine keep. So now the opponent is going to dredge their whole library, so to speak. Get three Narc Amoebas, then cast Dredge Return on Oracle, and it's over. Oracle's in the yard, Dredge Return's in the yard. Bridge from below? I wonder why they play Bridge from below. Okay. We, uh, that's a, it's a good old, we won the game except we didn't. Um, okay, Containment Priest, Null Rod, Fairy Macabre, those are awesome. I don't think Solitude does anything. Touch the Spirit Realm is kind of bad. Fable is kind of bad. Like, I'm really just looking for disruptive stuff. I like Fortiolingus because it pitches. It pitches to um, Chromox. Maybe Magus of the Moon is decent. Let's see. They play 12, 12 of those. Like Chalice for zero, Magus of the Moon, I believe, is a lock. Almost, at least. I mean, we can play those. I don't think, like, having, you know, good threats compared to, you know, worse threats, that's not the biggest difference in the world here. I think it's, it has a lot to do with the disruption. I would like to play first, yes. Okay, so there's the Chalice for Zero that I talked about. So how, do, how does he beat that? He beats that by going black, double-faced land, ritual, something, win, yeah. But I think it's good. Then I go Ancient Tomb. And then turn two, I have some good options. Huh, no play. I'll name human here. I have containment priest. I can end step the containment priest and then play Magus, and I think that's game over. Can't play that. And the game's over. Okay, fair enough. So Jealous of Zero was enough to make sure my opponent didn't win. The thing is, they only play like four pedal, a single chrome, and then a bunch of packs, I guess. The problem about this is, on the draw, I have two relevant cards in my deck. Two. When I play these decks, I usually like Leyline for partially this reason. Because if I keep a hand that doesn't have Fairy Macop, I feel like I'm just losing. But I don't think I, I, I can't do anything about it. Let's see a black card in our opener. Or we could be swimming with the fishes. So, funnily enough, this has turn one Magus, Null Rod, you name it. But I, I don't think I don't I don't think I can win unless I have a fairy macabre. That is not a fairy macabre. It is turn one chalice for zero and chalice for one. Yeah, I mean I think I'm committed at this point. Oof. There's double fairy macabre on my mold of four. Okay, so I get rid of that. That. Huh. So turn one containment priest is also pretty, pretty sick. Hmm. 
if I get thought seized, I'm gonna be very sad. But can my opponent really kill me turn one and have the thought seize? I'm gonna guess not. But ah, uh, it hurt a lot to put that to the bottom. But hey, we 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 found fairy macabre and turn one priest. So okay, I mean. Now the game is... The opponent's gonna go Wild Cantor, Dark Ritual. Now I'm gonna... Yeah, let them obviously do that. The opponent stretches everything. And... I can... Fairy Macabre, the Oracle. It's too late for my opponent to, because they invested a trap, it's too late for my opponent to, like, therapy me. Um, let's see if the oracle's out there, or... Yeah, the, the... Okay, so I'm gonna go discard that, get rid of that, and... Where is the dread return? And yeah, the opponent... Deck themselves here with a trap, uh, sorry, not trap, packed already invested, and that's gonna do it. Yeah, that's, that's not much of a, you know, that's not like the most, <laughs> the best magic in the world. And having only two fairy macabs puts a lot of pressure on my opening hand, um, too much, in fact. If I have ley lines, I have four cards with just those two, whew, it's tough. But yeah, we were lucky to get there. And uh, that's going to conclude today's video. Thanks so much for watching. I like playing different decks and the uh, Boris Initiative. It's pretty cool if you can live with the, the variance of did I win or did I lose? Like, put a, let's call it Boros Charbel shirt strategy. If you can live with that, great deck. All right. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.